Hard-working Irish immigrants by day, serial killers for science by night, Burke and Hare were a unique pair of criminals who made a profit from selling corpses to the anatomy students of 19th century Edinburgh. Back in the 1800s, there was a law which stated that corpses used for medical research could only come from those who died in prison, suicide victims and orphans. This was a problem for Edinburgh, which at the time was the European Centre for Anatomical Study. The shortage of bodies led to an increase in grave robbers, who were also called resurrection men. Although Birkenhead took it a little bit further than just robbing graves. Surgeon Square is almost forgotten now, but it was situated right here in 1827, where Birkenhead brought their first corpse to sell. The story of Birkenhead didn't start with murder. It started when a lodger in Hare's house died of an illness, leaving behind a debt of four pounds rent. Wanting the debt repaid, Burke and Hare took his body here to a local anatomist to sell his body for seven pounds and ten shillings. Burke and Hare began their murderous journey, killing a total of 16 people using a method which became to be known as burking. The method included Burke laying over the upper torso of the victim to restrict movement, noise and breathing. Hare would then place his hands over the nose and mouth of the victim to suffocate them. Again, they took the corpse to Knox, who paid them £10. Over the next 10 months, Burke and Hare would do this over and over again. Their crimes were eventually detected when a body was found under Burke's bed. A bribe of £10 per week was attempted to keep the witness quiet, but they refused. Hare was given immunity as long as he testified against Burke in court who was found guilty and executed on January 28, 1829. He was then publicly dissected at Edinburgh Medical College and his death mask remains on display at the Surgeons Hall Museum today. Perhaps more gruesomely, a pocketbook was made out of his skin.